Hello there, everybody, and welcome to a new series of a Let's Play, and this one is Frostpunk. You see, I've kind of already gone in, kind of gotten myself a little bit started, kind of figure out what's going on, what we got to do, how to figure things out here. But we're going to hop right in, we're going to select our scenario here. You can see the start here, there's three scenarios, we got more coming soon, uh, it'll probably be in the form of DLC, what the developers have put out recently on Steam, and then, uh, yeah, whatever else can kind of go from there. Nothing announced, though, but uh, they did say there is DLC in the works or box of it. So we're going to hop into the main story here, a new home. Let's see. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? Yes, who will we become indeed? Uh, as far as custom scenario, it only gives you options to change difficulty levels. Here, so we're just gonna stick with the uh, with the main one. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. With it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Well, that was quite the entrance. I like that. So we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any other our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst, now that the world as we know it has crumbled. Well, we do have to survive. So let's this thing going it's really like it's really good graphics here really nice so far I like it I like the audio the music all right fight the cold we need to get the generator working right heat and power to other buildings without it will freeze to death yes we will all right so we need to stockpile some coal and activate the generator so these here are coal deposits uh, we're gonna get uh, this is kind of how you send some people around to do stuff. So we'll send 10 people over there. Uh, oops. Get about 10 over there. Now the other thing we need for housing is we need to get some wood. So let's get eight there. Another eight over there. That still gives us some people. Try to start stockpiling some wood. Uh, we got these are like steel over here. Some more coal. 
That's wood, actually. That's wood. Uh, these things here, like, you can build stuff I onto earlier, later. Steelworks, sawmill. You can get that type of... Those types of resources. Uh, what's this here? Coal deposits. You can get a mine to grab that. Uh, so, yeah, so this will be interesting. I've only done five days. So, just to kind of enough to kind of get my head into it a little bit here. So, there's definitely going to be some things to figure out along the way. Let's uh, see how it goes. Picture control. See all the heat. You no know, comfortable living. Not around here. This is that. We've got 80 people homeless. Really need some wood. We don't have. Well, actually, we do. We have 44 wood. So, we can build these tents. So everything has to kind of be connected to these uh, streetways here. So. Oops. Don't build that. There we go. Look at, we got rid of the snow though. But that'll help uh, provide some housing for our people. Start here. We can go from there. We'll build some roads too out to this stuff. It might make things make travel faster. I would assume it would. It's like super cool though that they are actually able to dig through the snow. Get what they need. It's gotta be brutal working conditions, but at least we can get some stuff done. Got some steel somehow. Our stockpile of coal is going up, so we're gonna activate the generator here pretty shortly. I don't want to activate it and then uh, run out of coal. But yeah, you can see we're getting about 240 a day. Not really sure what the consumption would be. We could could start her up here. I like how everything's like toggle switches too. It's super cool. Super cool. So this is kind of like our little tutorial guide. As you can see, camera controls. All the resources work as well. We've got we got to get some raw food, uh, and then controlling time on how all that works. So tutorials are over there. Um, it would be kind of nice if they actually did do a uh, like a little mini tutorial to get you going, but it's all right. It's uh. With a couple more tents there as well so that will give us some people or people for homeless plus people for homeless should be good there everything we need to start building it's like a hunter's hut we can get one of those uh, we definitely need to get a workshop as well We could we could definitely do that. Build that out this way a little bit. So build a street over here. There we go. That'll build the street then. Kinda keep going there. We could build off of it. I could build something this way as well their street and have tent kind of come over here that wouldn't be too bad either our work day is almost over though well you we have 200 coal that'll be good enough to uh, start up the generator for the evening uh, come on Generator, there we go. The work day is up. Well, I thought we had it. Construction, yes, we know the construction. I've showed you guys that. You can kind of see invalid placements, conditional placements. What's that? Does not say what a conditional placement is. Interesting. Generator, see the generator is the heat. Part of the city and the only source of heat is frozen hole. You should turn it on as soon as you stockpile enough coal. The generator heat. The circular zone around it consuming at least six units of coal per hour. You can research 
generator upgrades that raise the heat output, expand the heat zone, and reduce coal usage. So, very nice. Uh, yes. I'll provide some shelter. We have two days to provide shelter for 15 people. I can, I can do that. Come on, we need to turn this bad boy on. There we go. Steam level one. I was gonna say, I knew how to turn this bad boy on. One of them switches. Generator hums with a reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves, yes. Now food, there will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to provide bare meals. So we gotta provide shelter. And we've got to get a uh, little hut going here. So, oh, Hunter's Hut will build out kind of out this way. We kind of need to build it out a little bit farther, I think. Um, so let's get uh, a road. There we go. And then we should be able to build the Hunter's Hut off of it. There we go. That'll take care of that. Your workers will actually build pretty much any time of the day. So kind of be mindful of that as it obviously takes away from their uh, their strength. But, uh, see our generators humming away there. Providing us the last city. Let's see what we got here now. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. So, I think we got some advisors here. This is kind of the book of laws. Uh, basically, in here, we can kind of decide what we're going to do with everything. Kind of go from there. Bodies and whatever else we got going on. Looks like a lot of stuff we can do. So we've got that if we ever need that. That's good. This is kind of our economy screen. Never really looked at this though as much. Oh, uh, That's kind of for our coal. Looks like there's a few coal piles that we can grab from. Looks like these are the two we're pulling from. Resources don't have anything there. Here's our food consumption. We're not gaining anything. That's not good. Medical facilities. Nothing there. Housing. We've got. Well, that's good. We need uh we need to build some more, obviously. And production. We're not really doing anything besides grabbing some wood crates and wood crates. We should get some steel at the next shift. I think. Should be the next. Yeah, we kind of pull from. Start getting some steel as well. So yeah, so they built the road for us. Street. Now they're building this little hut here. That's good. Workers are building a lot. So that's kind of nice there. 20 degrees Celsius. Full. Lots of lots of stuff to go to though. Yeah, yeah, lots of resources around. Day one has almost come to an end. You can see the temperature is about to drop significantly. Days here drop down two levels. So every drop is usually well two levels. So every one level is about ten degrees Celsius. So. Not, not good at all. So two levels will actually bring this down to around negative 40 degrees Celsius. So let's get some workers here. Eight to eight workers. That'll be good. That'll be good there. Eight workers to handle that. We'll slowly start reducing our uh, workers, but for all these different 
Because once we kind of start stockpiling enough, there's no need to keep them all working super hard. And one thing to note is our uh, workers for the Hunter's Hut uh, actually have different working hours than the rest of our people. So these people work throughout the night, and then the rest of our workers kind of work throughout the day. So, as you can see, here's the temperature. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing. Let's see how the heat map works. Hunters, here we go. Hunters leave the city to hunt in the frost lane for food. They work from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. Usually they bring up to 15 units of raw food from each hut, which we can uh, research upgrades to get more, obviously. Illness and healthcare. So this is like super weird and complicated, I feel like, at times. So cold homes or workplaces can cause people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. Sick can be treated in medical posts, but the gravely ill need to be in an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. A radical treatment law, which allows you the ability to treat the gravely ill at medical posts, which is what we get at the basic level. But then some of them will be left as amputees. The second one is the sustained life law, which allows us to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts or care houses, definitely. So, it's, a, it's an interesting one. You can see we have got one person that's sick, so we're gonna have to build a uh, little medical post there, but there's still a lot of work to do. Lots of work to do. So we gotta build a, a cookhouse and build these shelters, and I only need to build two shelters though. Be honest, so that's good. Wonder where they go hunting to. Like, do they go all the way out here, or if that's the case, I feel like we should build a a, a longer road here, so that way they don't have to trudge through the snow as far. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, time's almost come. Are they bringing anything back today, or new? 6 a.m. is almost upon us. 6 a.m. is almost upon us, boys. Aw, oh, see, they kind of just disappear into the, uh, the vast darkness of the night. He's just gonna disappear. So weird. Oh, well. Uh, the one thing that I will say I wish we could zoom in deeper so we could actually see like some of these graphics and what these people look like we can keep this going for a while yes we can yes we can oh there we go the day night cycle so the city wakes up at about 6 a.m. people have some free time until the work shift starts at 8 a.m. unless there's construction work to do after they finish their shift at 6 p.m., they are free to help with construction again, uh, which can keep them up well past midnight. That's kind of why you don't want to start your construction projects too, too late, because uh, you don't obviously don't want your citizens to be awake all night. Um, we can extend the 10-hour work shift if you sign certain laws. So we've got the shift time switch, which is from 8 to 1800 that we currently have, or we can go from 6 to 20 hundred. We got those two, or we could do the 24 hour emergency shift if things get really desperate. So those are all in the, in the laws book there. So that is nice. Um, I guess we could build a tent. Hopefully we get, get enough wood though. I'd like to get some some wood. We build a street though. Kind of out this way. Alright, let's do that. Let's see how that works. If they build this street here. This will help these people as they go to these two areas, I think. I say I think I feel like it would. I mean this makes no sense that they're coming up this way and then going this way. 
we could build this whole road here, they might kind of switch to it. Work time. Get back to work. Work time. Get back to work. You got it. Um, our hunters actually didn't come back with any food. Hopefully we didn't lose any. That's our raw food. I thought we sent, you know, we sent our hunters out. There's nothing here, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that they uh, don't cut through here. I was kind of hoping they would to help out, but they might, they honestly might just might not. That's all right. Once we uh, we stockpile some stuff, so this is kind of like our stockpile. It stores everything for us. And then uh, once obviously you can build more of these, so once we get full, it'll be good. But I really want to build some more tents here. I'll do that as the workday kind of winds down. And then uh, yeah. Things are things are looking okay for now. What's it gonna cost us for a medical post? Twenty-five wood. Twenty-five wood. Not good. And it has to be heated, so it has to be up along a main, like a main artery. So hopefully our people can get, get quite a bit of wood here. They need some for tents. I need some for a medical post. Those could be the two things we're gonna build today. Kind of go from there after that. About what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, I think this is the good start so far. Let's see, we actually got like a couple days to do to provide shelter. Yeah, one day and five hours left. So. That's good. Let's let's build this medical post here. Build the medical post. We'll build the tent. A couple of nice things there. We've got plenty of people available, engineers and some other workers, so that's a good start. All of that. Plenty of coal. We're not doing nothing, nothing crazy there. We're using about 144. We're grabbing 240, so that's good. That's good right there. So like I said, we can eventually move some some of our workers away from the coal if needed. That'll uh, bear some of that. We're getting some workers for steel. We could move some of our uh, coal workers over to steel eventually as well. Uh, buildings, buildings a little comfortable. Good. Tent is comfortable. The medical post is livable. So that's interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, put a couple workers in there. So that'll help. Looks like we can only have engineers in there, so. That's alright. That is alright. Let's put three people there. Got another uh, shelter built, so that's good. We can build the last shelter here, too. That's kind of needed. I was really kind of hoping that we could. Right off of there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. Workday ends. Work day ends. I guess we could go like that. So that'll be do that there. So that's a good start. For that, I think we're gonna build like our. There's a uh, workshop over here. 
So we're gonna build that, I feel like, over there. So. Good start there, the road's done. And that's almost completed. So. I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. It's the fact that they're doing this is kind of just making me a little funky. I don't understand why they're why they're doing what they're doing here when there's a shorter route here. Unless the fact that they can't cut cut around, that could be the thing. Shelter promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Yes. That is the Land. Interesting. Out the road, there we go. I don't understand what the problem is. What's the problem? There we go, no problem. So that's good. We've got all of that started. I thought the work day ended. What are these people doing? Oh, these must be hunters. Going to hunt. Good luck, boys. Bring back some good stuff. So we got all of our tents going. We still got 10 people that are homeless, which isn't good. Tomorrow we'll build the last tent, though. That's what we'll do tomorrow. With another tent back over here. That'll be... That'll be good. So I accomplished so far. You can see everything. I just want to know how they got down in this crater here. Just seems a little crazy. I mean, I get where this, this came from. I think this came from the vehicle. Right, I would assume it would. Workforce, we got a new tutorial here. Alright, some buildings such as medical posts or the workshop require intense mental labor from the people employed there. And as such can only be satisfied by or staffed by engineers. Workers. By engineers. Workers only provide manual labor. And then children can't be employed at all. Initially, you can check your workforce distribution by clicking on the icon in the bottom right. Yeah. You can see there, that's what we got. Over idle, two are idle, and 15 are children. So, got, got some children here to deal with. How many patients? About two days recovery time there. So that's good. It's still livable. My only problem here... Oh, it works 24 hours, huh? Hey. Oh. Alright, well, that's okay. My thing is, uh, when the temperature drops, that's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be an issue. Oh well. But that's gonna do it for our first day here in a new home, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When we come back, we're gonna build out the last shelter here to, to house our last uh, 10 people. We're going to build a tech workshop here and uh, we're going to get some more stuff collected and we'll start moving people around resource wise. We're actually probably going to get some more hunters as well. Um, we're going to need them. We're definitely going to need them. So that's going to do it for us this time guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and have a great day.